Howdy folks, we're back with the Harbor Freight Catalog series. Sorry, it's, we're looking at the 13th and I should have put this out weeks ago, but hey, I look at it like this, better late than never, right? Okay, <clears throat> this month's Harbor Freight Catalog is the final markdown. Okay, well, final markdown. Uh, I've went through the catalog a little bit. And I'm going to tell you, some of the prices are the lowest I've seen, and others, I've actually seen better pricing on the Black Friday sales than in here. So, keep that in mind. Now, as before, we are going to be cutting this up into three parts, because this is a big catalog. Not only that, but I do know that not everybody is an ITC member. So... ITC people look out for that uh, ITC section. So, let's get started. 18 by 12 inch hardwood dolly mover. Uh, these are carpeted. I have a set of them. If you are moving heavy objects around I don't care whether it's pieces of steel, whether it's furniture, whatever. Uh, go buy it for the eight bucks. I uh, I really can't even think of a way for you to build this from scratch for eight bucks. I mean, the carpet alone is probably going to cost you eight bucks right there. So something to think about. Uh. Four piece ratchet strap. If you do anything with your truck, buy the set because even though it's only got a 400 pound working load limit, you will find a purpose to have them. Uh, I've even pulled engines out of vehicles with them. So they do work for heavy objects. So, uh, 72 by 80 inch moving blanket. Uh, I would highly recommend these over, say, something like what U-Haul would sell you because these actually have padding. The ones that I've seen at the U-Haul store, they're kind of paper thin and they have no padding. So, hey, just the way that they sell them. 25 bucks for the brawn light. Uh, been thinking we about adding the brawn stuff in with the quantum when we do the quantum videos. S comment down below. All right. Uh, 9,000 watt max starting extra long light, blah, blah, blah. Generator. Uh, this is peak watts. If you look in the picture, actual constant running watts, that means you're going to be able to pull it off of it constantly, is 72.50. 9,000 is what, say you're running lots of air compressors off this, you know, you're, you're running four air compressors. Uh... You're, you're running your big camper off of it, and you kick in your hot water heater, and your fridge kicks in at the same time. That's what the 9000 is for, you know, for that instant kick on. Just have to tell you that, folks. Uh, the three-ton low-profile jack, I wish I could recommend this more but it's only got a 19 and 7 eighths lift height uh, when we get further into the catalog you'll understand why I really can't recommend this one over one of the others that they have he here right here in the catalog but for t 100 bucks it's an all steel construction. If you're not 
needing to lift a four-wheel drive vehicle with it, fine, but uh, this, for what I would use it for here in the upper Midwest, where we drive a lot of four-wheel drive vehicles, um, the 19 and 7 eighths lift height is kind of a little on the lacking side versus what they have in the rest of the catalog. Now, I'm actually glad that they have one of these on the sale. Uh, for 70 bucks, getting yourself uh, an electric impact. Now, granted, this is not battery powered. This is a corded model. But for those people that are getting into the automotive world and they don't have a lot of cash to spend on an air compressor, hose, fittings, the, the gun itself. I, I mean, folks, even at the Harbor Freight for the pneumatic stuff, just the gun alone is going to cost you this. This will get you through a lot of jobs that otherwise you wouldn't really be able to get through uh, such as pulling uh, harmonic balancer bolts uh, pulling lug nuts pulling CV axle bolts uh, it's better to have an, uh, have something of an impact versus not having anything at all. That's my theory on it. And the whole thing is is that electric corded impacts have been around for decades. So they're not just some newfangled thing. And these were here before the battery powered stuff, so keep that in mind. Okay, 24 foot of uh, 18 bulb socket, yeah. Uh, this is outdoor lighting. I, I've looked at it and it's actually not a bad deal for that. I mean, if you consider 20 bucks and you're getting 18 bulbs, well right there wow what is that a buck ten a bulb wow uh the recip saw for 20 bucks i will tell you this much go buy it if if you're a homeowner go buy it because even if you don't have use for it now it's one of those tools that the uses come when you buy it. I remember when I first bought my first uh, reciprocating saw. I had bought it to cut angle iron. I ended up the week after going back to the store and buying the large pruning blades so that I could prune my tree with it. You know, so for those folks that are homeowners, go buy it because it's it's a tool that you don't have to be a woodworker, you don't have to be a metal worker. Just being a homeowner, you can drag this out with a cord and prune your trees with it, and you don't have to lug the big heavy chainsaw, and in some ways this is safer than the chainsaw. So, just thinking about that. Thinking about your safety, folks. Uh, airless paint sprayers. Uh, I actually have not heard anything about these. Please put it down in the comments if you've got one and how your experience is with it. You know, I think the community would love to know. Okay, the 29-piece uh, drill bit set. Uh, they work. They will drill through what you need to. But are they 
like the most accurate thing ever? No. But if you need that hole drilled and you need it now for $11, you can't go wrong, okay? For high speed steel, you know, even though it's the cheapest high speed steel, it's still high speed steel. Uh, 3 8 50 foot retractable hose reel. Buy it, folks, because, okay, sure, you may already have a hose, but the $60 price tag, by the time you'd go out and get yourself an actual reel, just a reel, you'd be spending 50 bucks most of the time on the reel alone. So, my theory is, and this is what I've been telling people, is, is that go buy it, wrap up the hose that you have, and if and when this hose goes to hell, just pull this hose off, put your old hose onto it, and there you go. Essentially, folks, you're getting a freaking reel you're getting the reel for 50 bucks and you're getting 50 feet of hose for 10. Simple as that. Uh, the four and a half inch angle grinders, the black ones, for 10 bucks. Uh, I'm actually th gonna have to change my tune a little bit on these. Uh, for someone that is just getting into uh, metalworking, or now they've got blades for them for woodworking, where you don't know if you want to spend the money on the nicer ones because you don't know if you're actually going to go into it. Yes, this is the way to go. Um, or if you just need something to get you through the day because you're Matabo decided to take a dump on ya. Um, you know, it's... What am I looking for? It's better than nothing. Okay, folks? <sighs> Next page! Next page! A uh, 2000 watt inverter generator for 450 and they got it compared to the Honda at a thousand. I'm gonna tell you this much, folks. Uh, I really cannot figure out why the Honda is so expensive. Because it, even if you look at the Generax, the Generax are only uh, 200 bucks more than this. Um, yeah, you can go out and you can get yourself a Generac, at least around where I am, for around six fifty seven fifty uh the Hondas I have yet to figure out why they're so expensive and please tell me down in the comments if you know the answer because uh, I just can't f seem to figure it out. You know, it, it is, is it just the fact that the dealers of the Hondas are price gouging? Or or is it, you know, something internal with Honda? The little giant. Yeah. The little giant knockoff. <laughs> it's only got a 300 pound capacity. I really couldn't recommend it. Uh, completely for everybody because of the fact that it's only got a 300 pound capacity. I, I do believe that they have another one that's rated for 700 pounds that uh, sure it's a, little, a lot more but that's probably the one that I would tell you to go get over this one because of the fact that I uh, sure you may only be 300 pounds, but you think of if you're a painter, 
uh, the paint can, the whatever you're going to want to put on the other side. There you go. 225 piece mechanics tool kit for 100 bucks. This is the kit that if you are just wanting to dabble in elect in mechanics, it's it's a kit to start off with. It's it's what I would call a kit for the person that doesn't know if they want to make it even a weekend warrior type of deal. <laughs> Gotta get more coffee, folks. Uh, the compound miter saws, they've got every one of them on sale. So, <clears throat> let's see, they got good, better, best, your good is your Chicago, your better is your Admiral, and your best is Hercules. And I'm here to tell you, folks, uh, unless you're just doing rip cuts and things of that nature, uh, you might want to stay the heck away from this one, um, the Chicago Electric, because it doesn't have the high back fence. The Admiral has the high back fence, and it does everything that the Chicago Electric will do, and more! So, plus it comes with a blade. Okay, uh, they got it listed as a $20 value, so, okay, $155, $180. Uh, no brainer. Really, you think about it, you're paying $10 bucks more. Because by the time you buy the blade for the Chicago Electric, it's only $10 bucks more to get the Admiral. <laughs> uh, not even that, $5 bucks more. So, and for those that are the Weekend Warrior and the complete person that likes to do woodworking, uh, they do have the Hercules. Uh, I have heard nothing but good reviews about this thing. Nothing but good reviews. Um, yeah, so, uh, security lights uh, that are solar-powered. Uh, probably for fifteen bucks. Uh, for lighting your walkways, <laughs> you can't go wrong. Uh, seven-inch tile saw with sliding table. I've been looking at these folks, and from what I've been reading, there's a lot of people that want to ram stuff through it really fast. And because, and I think I know why this is. There's a video out on the Harbor Freight site that uh, has the guy cutting with this, but what they don't really show you that well is the fact that it takes a lot of time. For him to cut through that, it's not just a split second process like what they sh really show you in the video. And I, I know why they did it, they did it for time management, but um, really what it is is the fact that it <laughs> doesn't cut as fast as they really show you. So if you're gonna buy one of these, don't Roger Ramjet it through uh, slow and steady wins the race uh, 25,000 pound electric winch with remote control for 50 bucks uh, yeah if you've got a small ATV I would say get it for yourself because you know you can't go wrong. It, it's better to have one th now for 50 than to wait around and get the more expensive and higher quality for some people uh, one at 
three times the price. So, ah, uh, twelve fifty capacity vehicle positioning dolly. If you've got a shop, these are great. If you've got a gravel driveway, not so much. <laughs> uh, LED tape lights are on sale for twenty five for twenty four dollars. Yay! Can really have a party. <laughs> uh, the Apache cases, twenty five percent off all the Apache cases. Wow. And these are, I've looked at them, folks. They're, they're just as good as the Pelicans. Uh, ball joint service kit. <sighs> they're nice to have for pressing out ball joints. Not just ball joints, but also pushing out U-joints. Now, I'm going to put a little asterisk on that. There are some U-joints and ball joints that are not going to want to come out. <laughs> so, just want to make you aware of that, folks. Uh, the ratcheting wrench set for 20 bucks. If it comes in the sizes that you use the most, I would pick it up. Okay, your choice between oil lube and oil free for the same price, 125 bucks. Uh, if you're going to be running a lot of uh, impacts, uh, air ratchets, die grinders, go for the oil lube. But if you're going to do any painting, any painting at all. The oil free is what you're going to have to buy. And the big reason why you're going to have to buy the oil free compressor is the fact that you do not want contamination in your paint that could be provided by the oil lube compressor. Cuz you know, paint and oil don't really mix nowadays. Most most paints nowadays are water-based paints. Yes, I do know that there still is oil-based paints out there. It's just the fact that if you're doing anything automotive style, uh, most automotive paints nowadays are a water-based paint, not an oil-based paint. So, keep that in mind. Uh, the heavy-duty tarps are on sale. 11 by 18 foot 11 foot 4 inch by 18 6 inch uh, for 20 for 19 bucks that'll cover something for you you you've got your uh, small engine collection that you need tarp yeah that'll tarp your good section of uh, a small engine collection. Uh, okay, this is the electric impact that's battery powered for 230. This is what I was telling you before, folks. Battery powered is a lot more expensive. It has to do with a lot of electronics and yeah. Okay. So, it's 20 volts, half inch drive, and you can either get it in a standard or with a 2 inch extent to Danville for the 230. That's not a bad price if you think about it with uh, 12, 1200 foot pounds of torque. Yeah. You'll strip some bolts out with that. <clears throat> no problem. <clears throat> uh, battery charger with a jump start feature. It's electronic. I'd like to see a lot more of the manual style come back. 
to the market. It's not just uh, Harbor Freight. I've also been seeing Schumacher Electric move more towards computerized units. I personally prefer the old manual style stuff. The, the computers on them are usually the first to go. It's it's not the transformer inside, it's the computer in them that dies. But for 110 bucks, that's not a bad price considering you're going to pay almost uh, 100 bucks more for the Schumacher. Uh, one thing I've been looking at, folks, is the 12 volt lithium ion 3 8 drive extreme torque ratchet kit for a hundred bucks but look at this because it makes the jobs so much faster and it's battery powered and folks if you are impatient with working on vehicles now like I am uh, yeah, you might want to pick one up. <laughs> A thousand pound capacity loading ramps. These are great. You can practically drive your lawn tractor right into the back of your truck and uh, haul it wherever you need to. Now, you know, the do it safely, folks. Just saying. 30-inch five-door mechanics cart. Well, folks, I can't give it enough praise. You know, folks, we've been shooting video out of it now for almost a year, and it's held up fabulously. And I've got a lot of the accessories here for the blue one that some of them you'll, you've seen in other Harbor Freight videos. Others you, you've probably seen in other videos. So, the side tray, the folding side tray doesn't come with it, but I would highly recommend that to be your first uh, accessory for it. Now, for me, I've got accessories on mine that were not intended to be accessories, but I've made them work. <laughs> Such as a TV mount, folks. Some of you that have been with the channel for a while, you, you know what I'm talking about. A uh, 6500 watt. What do they got this one actually rated for? Uh, 5,500 constant for 460. Yeah, pretty good deal. Uh, two and a half ton aluminum floor jack. Uh, for roadside emergencies, uh, this is better than that one that comes with the vehicle. Just saying. If you can figure out a place for the handle, you're golden. Now, the impact sockets. Yes, you're going to need impact sockets if you buy yourself an impact gun. So, these are 12 points. Uh... I would not recommend buying 12-point sockets unless you are actually working on vehicles that have a lot of 12-point fasteners. I really don't understand it with the Harbor Freight why they stock so many 12-point sockets when most of the world still runs 6-point. So... Uh, 2.3 gallon manual extractor kit for 60 bucks, yeah. yeah. Okay, welders, welders, welders. Woo. Woo. 
Okay. Uh, one thing I have yet to see is the spool gun attachment for the titanium. Uh, I've been looking at them. They do have a, a switch on them that allows you to run a spool gun, but I have yet to see the actual spool gun attachment. And it does not look as if you can take the Vulcan and put it on the titanium. So, and there's that. So, uh, both of them are inverter style units. Uh, the one's got a 15% duty cycle, the other one's got a 25% duty cycle. And this is a full load, folks. You know, 200 amps. And really, unless you're running high, really thick wire or really thick rods, you're not going to be running it at no 200 amps. Uh, but it is nice to know that you do have the option to run the bigger stuff for those one or two times that you will have to do it. Now, uh, one's 24 pounds, one's 49 pounds. One's got a computer in it that, with preloaded programs, so that all you got to do is tell it what material you have, what wire you have, and what gas you're hooked into, and it will figure it all out for you. But, if you actually know what the heck you're doing, you really don't need that computer. You just need a, a welder. So, uh, choice is yours. Uh, I've heard nothing but good things between the both of them. Uh, folks, hey. You know, good Okay, 8750 max watt for 580. Good deal. 10% uh, off any chainsaw. No, $10 off any chainsaw. Hey, if you need a chainsaw, go get a chainsaw now. Okay, now this is what I was telling you folks. The Daytonas, even the non yellow ones, the Rapid Pump 3 ton. Low pros, you pay an extra 20 bucks more, and you get one that actually has another inch of height. Now, later on in the catalog, you'll see that the yellow one actually goes up even higher than this one. So Okay, 9,000 pound electric winch for 260. Wow, that is a great deal for a 9,000 pound winch. So, need one for the trailer, need one for <laughs> moving stuff around, need one for the Jeep. Eh, maybe this is the time to buy one. Okay, uh, oh boy, six gallon, 150 psi oil for your compressor. If you're going to be one of those people that needs one to fill the tires on the vehicle occasionally, needs to fill the kids' basketballs with it occasionally, you're not going to be heavy DIY, you know, weekend warrioring the thing to death, then this is probably the way to go for you because it's compact enough to fit in a lot of places, but yet it's big enough to handle bigger jobs. Now, am I going to take this and run it to death? No, I'm not going to even look at it. Sorry, folks. But if you do push me, I, eh, I don't know. I've been thinking about doing torture testing, but yeah. Okay. 
Oh boy, rotary hammer drill. Uh, for 140? Heck. Go buy it, folks. If you need hammer drill. 350 pound capacity. Well, Kurt. For 90 bucks. <laughs> As the first project, actually, I would tell you to build your own. Personally, go buy it at the wheel, go build your own. But if you're a busy person, go buy it. I don't think that you're going to get one much cheaper. Uh, four piece anti fatigue foam mat set for $7. I know that there'll be the other person in this house running out to go get that. Uh, Two-ton capacity foldable shop crane. This is the one, folks, that you're going to want to get. Not the one-ton, the two-ton. And the big reason why you want the two-ton is so that you can extend the arm out long enough to pick up items with it. So, keep that in mind. 20 gallon portable oil lift drain. If you're, you know, if you already have a lift, then it's perfect. But for people like me that do not have one, not a clue what I use it for. 18 volt uh, cordless drill with keyless chuck. I'm going to tell you this much, folks. I will bring this out for when I'm hanging pictures because this is actually lighter than my Bosch and it also saves on the wear and tear of my Bosch and on top of it I'm not oversetting the screw. Three and a half inch multi tool. Mm. For 90 bucks, yeah, you could go get it. Okay, surveillance systems. This is what you really should have. Is one of these, not the nest systems that cost you every month. This is the system to have. You know, where you're in control, you don't have to worry about other people hacking your system, whatever. The 21 gallon oil free vertical compressor for 230. Now if you're doing some serious paint work, I would highly recommend going and getting it. Just saying. Six eighty for the fifty-six by twenty-two double bank extra deep cabinets. Yeah, you can't go wrong, folks. You just can't go wrong with that. Fire rated water roof document safe for forty bucks. Yeah, you really can't go wrong with that one either. The six gallon four peak horsepower wet dry vacuum. <sighs> Folks, it's a vacuum. If you need a vacuum, go buy it. If you don't need a vacuum, oh well, you're probably not looking at it. 100 watt solar panel kit for 150. I think I've seen them other places for a lot less or you get a lot more than what this kit comes with so just keep that in mind oh boy the Braun has the 1250 lumen rechargeable work light battery bank Ooh. It'll run up to five and a half hours on a charge for 25 bucks wow <laughs> uh, pole saw hey if you need a pole saw you know 
you might as well pick something up. And this one's battery powered, folks, so keep that in mind. 4-in-1 portable power pack. Ah. I really... When, when they start getting into the air compressor and the power supply and the jumper and whatever, they usually cut corners with the quality. And it's not just Harbor Freight, it's a lot of others. They cut the corners <laughs> on the quality of the overall unit to bring a price down to where people will buy it. Uh, personally, I will tell you that you're probably better off buying just a power pack. Just enough said. Okay, this is where I was telling you folks how the uh, pneumatic stuff is even 130. This is just the impact tool alone. Uh, and this is where it comes down to if you've got a compressor, if you've got the hoses, if you've got the fittings, if you're already set up for air, then yeah, you might as well shell out the extra cash and get the air. But if you're not set up for air, then go back and get the one for 70 bucks at the electric. And I've heard nothing but good things about these. And personally, folks, I'm thinking about getting one so that we can compare it to my Chicago pneumatic that I've had for years and years and years. Well, not years and years, but, you know... I've had this one for a while, so if you want to see that, put it down in the comments. 50 foot of drain cleaner. If you need your drain snaked all the way out to the street, then yeah. Because, folks, they're going to charge you a hundred bucks just to come out and run the thing out. Oh, 20 ton air hydraulic bottle jack. For 90 bucks. Wow. It's actually not a bad deal for a pneumatic jack. Uh, handheld paint sprayer. <sighs> I'd like to know what you can actually spray for paint through it. Whether is it a heavier house paint or is it a lighter automotive paint. I'm assuming because of what brand they have it under that it's the heavier house paint. Now, the yellow Daytona is on sale for $190. And this goes up to 23 and an eighth inches high. This is the one that I would highly recommend you go get if you've got a four-wheel drive vehicle. So that you can actually lift the vehicle up high enough to actually get underneath it and do what you need to. Just saying. One forty welder. Yes, 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 yes. This is allows you to run both self shielded and gas shielded wire. This is what you should be looking at if you are actually serious into getting into welding. Is this because when you get into welding it's going to come with it, a lot of the machines nowadays they come with a roll of self-shielded wire and they also come with a roll of 
gas shield of wire. Now, you go down to your local welding supply store and you buy a tank of uh, gas. Tell them that I need a tank of gas so that I can run my MIG welder that most welding supply stores have staff on hand that will help you figure out what gas you need. And folks, you can get the little tanks for around 150 bucks. And usually that includes the first fill, so. Uh, portable scaffolding for 170. Wow. Okay, now they got the one and a half ton lightweight aluminum racing jack. They used to call them racing jacks. So, uh, for 60 bucks, yeah. And they are light. <laughs> I mean, they, they literally say 33 pounds weight capacity. Okay, six ton steel jack stands. I don't know what, whether people are just having problems or if they're morons or whatever. I haven't had a problem with my six tons. Okay, I have yet to have a problem with my six ton jack stands from the Harbor Freight. And I've had a vehicle on the bloody things for four months straight. So, uh, yeah. Multi purpose workbench for 70 bucks. That's actually not a bad deal. Uh, rotary hammer for 65. Ooh, the variable speed bandsaw. Ooh, for 100 bucks. Actually, that's not a bad deal. And if you look at the specs on this thing, it actually has a wider throat than the Milwaukee or the ball or the the wall. So you can make bigger cuts with it, and you can even do a little bit of twisting with it that makes it easier to get those curved cuts. Okay, so if you need a variable speed bandsaw, go get one. And I think now Swag has the kit to convert that into a mini bandsaw. Mini upright bandsaw. Uh, utility pump Summer's coming, folks. Uh, you might want to get yourself one if you live in a flood-prone area. It's better than nothing, as they say. The Viking Jumpstart Packs, I've heard mixed reviews on, folks, where sometimes it starts the vehicle, other times it doesn't, and... In some cases, it does, you know, it, it takes it a while to actually be able to start the vehicle. So, five ton log splitter. It's, that's electric, not gas. So, for all your log splitting needs that you need to do, that doesn't wake the neighborhood. Uh, 4,000 watt peak for 300 bucks. Hey, that seems like a good deal. Uh, disc brake pad and caliber service tool kit for 30 bucks. Uh, yeah, if you need to push dual piston calipers in, this is the way to go. Standard auto darkening welding helmet for 35 bucks? Yeah. Propane torch for 
30 bucks. These are nice to have. Uh, the other name for them is a weed burner. And they do burn weeds very well. Stay safe and know what the heck you're actually doing. Make sure that you're not around stuff that's going to explode or be on fire in an instant if things go awry. Just saying. 18 foot plug in linkable rope plate. Ooh. For $15. Yeah, these things last for years. How far are we into the catalog? Okay, I think. <laughs> yeah, we're going to make this into a couple sections. Because I can already tell that this video is getting long. Uh, 1160 lumen security light. Hey. And it's solar powered. It looks like it's solar powered. So, yeah. For 35 bucks, you don't have to do any wiring. Wow. Uh, bench top table saw. It's one of those cases where it's better than nothing. Uh, 22 horsepower V twin engines. 708 or 670 for 660. Uh, righty. 400, 900 watt oscillating parabolic electric heater. <sighs> Heat's nice. <laughs> so, if you need a heater and you're willing to pay the electric bill, go for it. 12 ton shop press, folks. Presses are nice to have for, you guessed it, pressing things out. Uh, for 100 bucks, that seems like a good price. Uh, 12 volt LED trailer light kit for 30. Hey, to convert your trailer over to LED, that's not a bad price. Uh, 900, our favorite little generator. Our favorite little generator, 900 watt max. And remember that 700 running watt. A gas powered two cycle generator for 110. I don't think you're going to see the prices go any lower than that anymore, so, folks, buy it when you can. Yeah. Alrighty, 600 pound capacity, heavy duty hand truck for 30 bucks. They got the blue one, that's the one that I would highly recommend. So, just saying, folks, the steel ramps here are the ones I would recommend over the Propylene. It's plastic. Uh, tool bag with pockets for ten bucks. Yep. Uh, OBD2 code reader for one sixty. If you've got a vehicle built after nineteen ninety six in the United States, it's going to have an OBD2 port somewhere in that vehicle. If it's sold here in America, it has to by government mandate. Period. Four ton for a hundred bucks? Yes. <laughs> uh, welding cart for thirty? Yeah. Multi-purpose vise? Fifty? Yeah. Three ton long reach? That goes up to twenty-four and a quarter for one sixty-nine. Yes. We're going to end the video here. We're going to... So, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.